In this tutorial, I'll show you some of my favorite shortcut keys when animating in Adobe Flash. So these are some of the shortcuts I use the most when I'm animating and drawing in Flash. V is the arrow tool, which I can use to move objects around or pull on corners. L for the lasso tool to just select some of the artwork. Q for transform, so I can rotate, scale, and skew objects. B for the brush. Y for the pencil tool. N for the line tool, so I can do just straight lines. And K for the fill bucket to fill in a color. And to move around my screen, I'll use space to move around the canvas. And I'll use control plus and control minus to zoom in and out. Here's a hotkey that's not used useful at all, at least not when you're starting out in Flash. So I press it all the time, and it's the hotkey of J, and what it does is it turns on object drawing mode. So what that does is it turns each one of your brush strokes into a drawing object. And the reason this is not useful is because if I were to draw a circle like this, and then to grab my fill tool and try to fill it, it won't work, because both of these strokes have been turned into drawing objects. To turn it into normal artwork, just select them and press Control. Control B to break it apart, and then you'll be able to fill it in with a color. So if you have a symbol in Flash, and you use the transform tool to modify it, and then you want to go back to the original shape, you can select it and press Control Shift Z, and it'll go back to its original shape. To turn an object into a symbol, you can select it and press F8, and that'll turn it into a symbol. If you're animating, make sure you set it to graphic, because that's the most useful for animation. So in new versions of Flash, they fixed the eyedropper tool so that even on a symbol, like this one here, you couldn't select with the eyedropper tool the color that you wanted. Uh, with Flash CC, it seems to work, but if you're using an older version of Flash, you won't be able to use the eyedropper tool to select a color. Instead, I go to the fill color down here, and then when you click on that, the swatches will open, but you'll notice your cursor turns into an eyedropper tool. If you use this, you'll be able to select any color that you want, even in the menu bar or on another window. Super useful. If you're creating shapes in Flash, it'll drag from a corner to make that shape. But if you hold the Alt key, you'll drag from the center. And if you select your artwork and press Q for the transform, it'll normally rotate from the anchor point, which is right here. And you can move this anchor point and rotate it from different spots. Or if you hold the Alt key, you can rotate it from the opposite corner, uh, no matter where your anchor point is. And if you hold the Control key while your transform is on, you can distort it by dragging these corners around. To quickly duplicate an object, you can hold Control, Alt, and then drag with your mouse and it'll duplicate it. If you have a lot of objects on the screen, you can press Control A to select all. If you have a selection going, you can press Control Shift A to deselect. And sometimes in Flash, you'll have a timeline that's more like this because you have so many layers, but you kind of lose a lot of drawing space. Well, if you press the hotkey of F4, you'll get a nice big area so you can draw your objects. When you're animating frame by frame, you can use the period key to go forwards, and the comma key to go backwards one frame. You can use the hot key of F5 to extend an exposure, and you can do that on one layer by selecting a keyframe and pressing F5, or if you have no layer selected, you can press F5 and it'll extend it across all of your layers. So this is useful for adjusting timing, and if you want to remove frames, you can press Shift F5 and it'll delete frames. So again, you can do this either on one layer, or you can do it on both by deselecting layers. F6 adds a new keyframe, which will take what artwork you have, and when you press F6, it'll be the same artwork, and you can modify it. F7 will insert a blank keyframe. And to get rid of any keyframes or any motion tweens, you can press Shift F6, and it'll get rid of that keyframe. So normally, with a keyframe, if you right-click and you go to Remove Frames, it won't work. So to get rid of keyframes, just press Shift F6. You can even select a bunch of frames and press Shift F6 to get rid of them. If you want to copy a keyframe, you can select the keyframe, hold down Alt, and drag that keyframe where you want it to be. And it'll copy that keyframe where you dragged it to. To quickly watch your movie, you can press Control Enter, and it'll play your movie. So I hope these quick little shortcuts were helpful to you, and if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure to check out my other videos for learning how to animate in Flash as well. Also, if you like my tutorials and you'd like to support me making more, please check out my Patreon page in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye bye